So why didn't I post last week? So welcome back to this channel. My name is Thaddeus. And for those of you who are new here, my name is, uh, I run this agency called TB where we help financial education uh, businesses to grow and scale with marketing and sales. So today I want to talk about a few things. I think just an update of why I didn't post last week and also something interesting, an interesting realization which I had um, for the past few weeks because past few weeks had haven't been easy for me. I think it's oh, it's it's a ha- it's a it's a it's a hustle. It's a period of um, definitely not a bit of roses. But today I just want to talk it talk about it, um, vent it out a little, and just share some of my thoughts here. And then uh, hopefully when I look back, I'll see that this is what I went through, and also maybe for those of you who are watching this channel, uh, you might also get some value out of my sharing. So why didn't I post last week? Uh, actually, I last week I went for a jab my second jab, um, a Moderna jab, and uh, after my after the jab itself, it felt, I felt okay, but the next day, I had a tremendous headache. Um, so, so there was something interesting, which uh, my friend Jonathan, uh, he's also a coach, and he's also a client, so he was uh, trying out this Wim Hof breathing. So for those of you who don't know what Wim Hof breathing, you can go and Google, I'll leave the link down below. But Wim Hof breathing is basically, uh, or that this man called Wim Hof, he is known to be able to survive very well in the cold. And he does it via his unique breathing method, right? And uh, he's used it to, to, to impact many people as well, uh, to improve their overall health, improve their performance, etc. So uh, apparently it also helps with dealing with uh, illnesses. So I tried that uh, after I took the jab, while I was waiting, to, to waiting during the 30 minute or 40 minute period, I was doing the Wim Hof breathing, oh my earpiece doing it while I was waiting. Uh, I was really hopeful that I wouldn't have any headache or any side effects the next day, but obviously that that didn't work out too well. So uh, yeah, I was pretty surprised that that didn't work out as expected. Uh, but after I took a Panadol and said to just rest for the week. So that's why I didn't uh, post uh, last week, but um, I'm back and I'll be consistent every single week um, till I don't know when. So uh, today specifically, I talk about a. I think one thing about business which I uh, that no one exactly tells you at the start, or uh, tries to sell you business advice. Um, and it's something which I learned or really understood. Past few weeks, past few weeks is a collective experience, of. Fun. Depression. Anxiety, uh, stress, anger, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> so I just want to share, 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 share all these, share, share this particular lesson with you. So, the one thing is that the business is actually a reflection of your inner world, right? I think the business, especially if you operate as as an SME, as you 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 bootstrap your company, you start out with yourself, a small team, or if you you're just purely the founder, there's no other co-founders or business partners. Um, it really just is a reflection of yourself, or if not, it's a reflection of your team. So why why do I say that? So before starting this business, which was you know I think quite a quite a couple of years back, I was never number one. I was never a very strong communicator. Um, whenever trying, whenever I'm trying to communicate some things to people, um, I I assume they kind of can read my mind. I think that's I've been guilty of that for quite a few times. So. I assume that they, they can read my mind or they can read my body language and hence, you know, for some reason, what I'm feeling and what I'm trying to say, I expect them to understand. So my communication skills in general is pretty weak. I haven't held any uh, leadership roles before starting this business. And uh, even in school, I think there was a bit, but uh, there wasn't an experience for me to improve my communication. So generally speaking, my communication is, is, is pretty um, pretty weak. I'm also a huge introvert. Um, that's why I don't like to voice out. I just prefer to keep everything inside my mind. I feel more at ease actually. Uh, I just prefer to let it sink in and just deal with myself rather than to deal with people. So in that sense, my communication rather is actually pretty weak. Um, so I think another one is uh, generally I'm also not a very good. Um, at least my guess is uh I'm not a very patient person. Uh, so I don't know if this is uh 
personality type or it's just me. Um, but I'm rather an impatient person. So what do I mean? Let's say I want to see results now. I just want to see like results um, uh, ASAP, right? I, 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 I try not to give in to excuses. So that, I mean, that, that, this is just probably 10% of me. There's so much more which I can share, which will take one, two days to share everything with you. Uh, but this is just a glimpse of basically what and who am I. So what? That, so back, back to the point, you know, why is the business a reflection of my inner world? So my inner world is what I've just described to you and my business is also a reflection of that. So how, how do I know? Why, why do I truly believe it? Because I've started seeing problems in the business, okay, that is an amplification of myself. So example, let's say, like I shared earlier, my communication is the best. So right now, <laughs> the problems I'm facing in the company is communication. Uh, I don't know communicate properly. I can't enforce certain rules, culture, for people to communicate clearly, uh, uh, being patient also. Um, I, I, I'm generally someone who likes squeeze everything in in, in, in that setting so that uh, I can see results fast, but that of course has led to people feeling burnt out, stressed, uh, etc. So all these things is exactly a, ref- a reflection of, of, of myself uh, 100%, right? So, um, and yeah, and there, there's just so much more which I, I want to share here, which will take forever to share. But um, this is just one small bit, which I realized that, you know, really the business is just a reflection of of who we are. So I think my point here, my realis- realization here is that, you know, if I really want to improve my business, like there is no way out. I can hire coaches, I can hire people, but at the end of the day, you know, if I don't change, if I, I, I don't change, or if I am adamant to stick to who I am, then there is, I'm basically killing the business, right? I'm basically telling my business that, or I'm rather I'm holding back the company's growth. So I think there's a problem with a founding, just a, a, a person, a, a founder who starts his own business. Uh, and I think it's one of the issue that people have to look out for it. So I think that's why it's, that's why there's a saying, right? Always hire people that is, uh, that compliments you, not not the same as you. So even though, yes, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm good at certain skill sets, but the thing is, you know, even if you are, a poor communicator or even if I am a poor communicator, I'm sloppy or I lack uh, mastery or um, I'm not someone who likes to see things until the end. If I hire the, the exact same people as me because I try to get them to, to, to do better than me, then obviously uh, that will not play out as as well, right? And that is more a reflection of yourself. So um, yeah, that's just one realization. And I think managing a small team kind of gives me a glimpse. So my team right now is about five people, five, six people. It kind of gives me a glimpse of what it's like to handle, to lead a family next time, which I'm honestly kind of scared. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's just, I, I think it is an opportunity for me to, to, to get a glimpse into the future as I have more responsibilities of, I don't know, my spouse, my kids in the future. And I think I'm definitely grateful to have this opportunity to 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 experience it first and before I go into something that is more maybe stressful, I don't know, emotionally stressful. Um, but yeah, so in terms of, I think how to definitely improve on my, on the business is the first step to acknowledge it and really to understand like what are my, my, my weaknesses, cover them, work on them. And once that is done, I think the business side will follow. So this is just my thoughts for the day, for the week. And I thought I just wanted to share it with you here. Um, and yeah, so anyway, if you like these kind of videos, um, click on the like button below. My YouTube channel is a really, really small channel of 80 subscribers on average, 30, 40 views per video. So if you give me the support, click the thumbs up uh, button below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that I so that when I launch the videos every single Saturday, you'll be notified and you can actually uh, watch those. So yeah, that's all and I will see you next week.